Well, hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. Thank you so much for joining me again. I am Mental Fox. We're in solitude, uh, kind of just exploring the town right now. That's what we're doing. We look at the local map here. Uh, we'll see that there's a lot of stuff to see here in uh, solitude. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that, uh, I don't know, maybe I will find a home or something. Um, maybe I could figure out where the Jarl is and talk to the Jarl and... See if there's a, a Thane position open. Uh, I don't know, man. We're just kind of walking around here, checking the place out. This looks like um, a uh, alchemist, I guess, here. Uh, Angeline's Aromatics, I'm guessing. Is that... I don't know. Let's go in and see. Hello. Nice place you got here. We got a bunch of glowing books around here. Ooh, here's a alchemy lab. And, um, looks like uh, maybe we interrupted her dinner or something. I don't know. Hey, how's it going? Angeline Morard. Yeah, quite a few books here. Uh, some Nern root here. She's got all kinds of ingredients and such. She's actually going to come out from behind the counter to speak with us. Hello, Angeline. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? I have, yes. Actually, yes, I've been to White Run. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter Fura was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Hmm. Well, uh, I haven't met her, but I could try to get more information. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Okay, I'll see what I could do. So, uh, this place is called Aromatics. You sell perfumes? Ah, so you're an alchemist oh, then. Oh, what? <sighs> okay, well, apparently instead I asked her what she had for sale. Uh, more interested in seeing what I could sell to her. I got all these potions here, some of which I'll probably never use. Potion of True Shot, um... I mean, I don't know, man. Potion of the Warrior, one-handed weapons, I'll never use that. Potion of the Knight, increases heavy armor skill, okay. Potion of Strength, Stamina, Resist Magic. I mean, there's a possibility I could use any of these, really. Uh, it's just that they're so heavy and I've got so many of them. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of these poisons. Vigorous Healing, always good to have. True Shot, heavy armor skill, I mean... I'll never use that. Strength, stamina, let's see. Stamina, resist magic, resist fire, plentiful stamina. So yeah, all these here, the potion of illusion. Illusion spells are 25% stronger. I don't use those, at least not yet. And uh, extreme magicka, cure disease might be good to have. Um, yeah. Okay, these might be good to keep. So we'll keep these. So anyway, what I meant to ask you was, aromatics? You sell perfumes? We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. Mm-hmm. And we could learn alchemy from her. But I don't want to spend my money. Next time you need herbs and potions. Yeah. I don't want to spend my money right now, because like I said, I'm trying to find a house, and I'd hate to spend a bunch of money on training and then find out that I really needed like 10,000 coin for a house. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. What do you mean by this? Hmm. If you ever want to replace those old rags, stop by Radiant Raiment. So what should I wear to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace. That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Oh, I like the sound of that. No way, man. Sounds easy enough. I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Sure, 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 sure. Um... <laughs> What is wrong with my outfit, anyway? Nothing at all. It's very... nice. 
If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop, Radiant Raiment. Yeah, you we mentioned could fix that. You right up. So, do you always insult people when you meet them? It's not an insult, just an observation. Mm. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, <laughs> where a tire is concerned. Okay, lady. Remember Radiant Raiment when you need a change of attire. Well, let's put it on now. I'm not going to be doing any fighting. I don't think. Let's go ahead and put it on. Radiant Raiment Fine Clothes. There we go. We look fantastic. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Don't think the helmet goes with it. But, uh, you know, it's all Make good. It quick. So, <laughs> I could, like, take off the helmet. Uh, but, I mean, the Make odds of you remembering to put it back on are pretty slim. Um, but uh, let's, you know, let's, let's play the part here. Let's play the part. Yeah. Except that I'm Make barefoot. I don't know. We'll see if anybody mentions that I'm barefoot. So this is the Winking Skeever. Place we've already been. Is there another entrance to this place? I guess before... Yeah, that's right. Okay, we came in that door. Uh, that's where the execution happened. And I came in and I went in the Winking Skeever first. Okay. It's not much to ask. Okay. So Winking Skeever. That's the radiant place we just were. Or, or the, that was the aromatic place. This is the, the radiant raiment right here. You know you can afford a septum or two. I already gave you a septum. Go away. Bits and pieces. Oh, let's see what this place is. Hi. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. I thought adventurers were supposed to look tough. <laughs> The first comment on my clothes already. <laughs> yeah, you little jerk. I bet my papa could beat you up. I bet he couldn't. I get to help mother with the shop. I used to help papa too, till I tried to use the forge. Ooh, what happened? Need something? No. What's up? Huh. You know, you've got a certain fire in your eyes. Just like my beer and please, feel free to look around. Yes. We've got a bit of everything. Welcome. Look around. We've got everything you could want in life. At least, that's what Birind always tells me. So who is Birind anyway? We, we actually already met Birind. He was that uh, guy who wanted us to hire him in the uh, Winking Skeever. Birind's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. At least I think that was him. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Actually, maybe that guy's name was Belrand. I can't read my handwriting. I don't know. So were you at Rogver's execution? Oh, a bit of this. Oh, for crying out loud, that's not what I picked. <sighs> no, that was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me, <laughs> he wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Hmm, okay. Well, now tell me what you have for sale. Take a look. Uh, oh, she sells some books. That's kind of interesting. Um, she sells... Oh, yeah. Nothing too fantastic here. But, um, yeah, she sells books. Spell tomes. Frostbite. Destruction spell. I already have this one. Oak flesh. Alteration improves the caster's armor. Interesting. Uh, as far as selling her stuff, again, you know, I'm going to sell her this scroll of Guardian Circle just to get rid of it. And uh, I already went through my potions. And as far as armors and stuff goes, um, I mean, I should probably be wearing this dwarven helmet. It's supposed to be better than my steel horn, steel horned helmet. This one has. Uh, 25 armor where this also has 25 armor. You know, I'm gonna keep this Because I've already improved or enchanted it um, And it has it's 25 armor 
Whereas this is also 25, but it weighs more than twice as much. I'm going to sell this thing. I can't improve this anyway. So we'll sell that. Sell the mage robes. Robes of restoration. Um, oh, crap. I'm pretty sure that all these could be sold. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure we already stopped at an arcane table, and none of these could be disenchanted. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh, she doesn't have any more gold. Jeez, she's poor. Um, okay, well, 133. I could sell her this amulet of Stendar, I guess. I don't remember what the amulet of Stendar does, or if I even want to keep it. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Bits and pieces. Amulet of Stendar. Eh, block 10% more damage with my shield. I don't care about that. What do you need? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm going to send her, sell her this amulet. Okay. Make sure to recommend us to your associates. Mm -hmm. Well, let's look around the place a little bit, because that's what we do. Let's see what's down here. So she's got a little cellar down here. A little chest. I'm not going to take anything. Just looking. Just rummaging. See what's upstairs. The cake and the diamond. That's a book we've already read. That was a good one. Here's um somebody's bedroom. So what's this forge numbers business? I have to guess that maybe that's a I'm afraid to actually you know what I'm gonna hit a five. Um what is forge numbers? There's nothing to change in the ledger, so I apparently tried to change something just then, so I don't want to be messing around with that. Oh, sounds like the hubby's home. Boy, there's all kinds of things to look in here. Bunch more books here, but uh, I don't want anybody to see me take them. I probably need to stop stealing books, really. Probably do. I mean, I take them because I want to read them. But, um... Yeah. Shouldn't be stealing stuff. Come on. Nice bed here. That's a cute little place they've got. I really like it. I like what they've done with the place. Okay, so Bay Bayrand here is the... Uh, blacksmith, and I guess Belrand was the name of the guy in the Winking Skeever. Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales. Yeah, you're busy. I get it. Alright, I guess I'm going this way. So, this is the, uh... Okay, that's that place. Where do people live? Where are the houses in this place? That's what I want to know. There's a little market here. Uh, maybe this is where the houses are. Nightshade. Just a door there. Well, it's nighttime now, so I'm not going to be able to get into any of these houses. Look at this place. It's like all bricked up, man. Interesting. I mean, it looks like... It is or was a home. It's all bricked up. Oh, here's a door. Hall of the Dead. Uh, we got quite a bit of nightshade here. There's different plants here, which is really cool. These are plants that we don't see... We didn't see back in Whiterun, some of these. Hall of the Dead, huh? Um, sure, let's go in. Why not? See if anybody chases this out of here. Troll Skull. Some weapons here. A bunch of weapons. They could very easily steal. There's nobody in here, but I'm not... I'm not stealing stuff. Oh, no. 
I'm me. Oh, hi. What's up? Hello, my child. RK, watch over you. What's up, stir? May RK bless you with a long life, a proud death, and a restful grave. Thanks. How long have you tended to the Hall of the Dead? All my life. I practically grew up in the Hall. My father and mother were the priest and priestess of RK before me, you see? I believe I was put here to protect this place from the darkness that pervades solitude. What, what does the darkness that pervades solitude? This city has a long history of madness and murder. The Wolf Queen, Pelagius, the death of High King Toric, and now public executions. My books tell the stories, have no doubt. As pretty as its streets are, as jovial as the bards may be, darkness is drawn to solitude. Hmm. So I was just, you know, random question. Is the man who was executed buried here? You mean Rogvir? Yes, I made an appeal to Captain Aldous. He allowed Rogvir to have a proper Nord burial, as is the custom in solitude. Hmm. Okay, well, nice talking to you, I guess. May Arke bless you with a long life. And you too. Hope you don't mind if I look around your place a little bit. Well, that book is kind of somehow clipping through that shelf there. The Firmament. Are they both of these books the Firmament? It looks like two books to me. Can't tell. Well, he's got a downstairs and an upstairs too. Look at this place. Oh, what's this all about? Solitude Catacombs? Oh my. We're not going to go in there just yet. I have a feeling that we're going to find a quest that's going to take us there, right? Oh, that's a nice big room. I really like this place. Okay. Well, I guess he lives alone here. I mean, I guess it's possible somebody else does. That was a pretty big bed. A little cemetery here. Lots of nightshade growing in this place. What's down here? Oh, the catacombs, okay. Lydia's trying frantically to catch up with me. I really didn't do anything that weird, Lydia. So, where do you think the Jarl lives? Because it seems like I'd have to talk to the Jarl, or somebody who works with him, to see about getting a house. He's got to be up here somewhere, right? We sure use a warm bed right about now. Yeah, I bet, man. So if we look at our map, local map, we're here. Thalmor headquarters, Castle Dower. I mean, maybe I need to go into Castle Dower. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's where I go. Maybe. Maybe. This place looks important. Oh. Okay, Castle Dower, Emperor's Tower. Hmm. Well, we can't get in because I'm going to guess it's because it's nighttime and we can't get in, maybe? No lollygagging. I mean, I guess I could go in here now. I don't know. Let's go take a look around. True. I may look the part of. What? Huh? Okay, Fahada. Your typical solitude wench is like the city itself stormy exterior. But, ah, uh, the charms that lie within. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnsgaard... You can sell off that junk at bits him. and pieces. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's... The road to Whiterun's not safe up. these days. Lots of travelers just disappear south of Dragonbridge. Valkruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison it. troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General, 
You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. Hmm. Huh. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Hmm, okay, so it, what I could gather from bits and pieces there is that they're concerned about a Stormcloak attack on Whiterun, but Whiterun doesn't want any help. So, they're trying to convince Whiterun to accept their help. I think. What's this now? Imperial Fort Newgrad. Sir, we can't just keep trading blows with the rebels like this. It's only strengthening their resolve. Your concerns are duly noted, Legget, but unfounded. I assure you, this war will be over in another six months. Sir, this is costing lives of both Imperial Loyalists and Skyrim citizens alike. And it's winning the Rebels' support where they had none before. Don't you think I know that? But these commands come straight from Cyrodiil. We must maintain order and put the rebellious Jarls in their place before we have a full-scale war on our hands. You don't think this is a war already? Sir, I... Thank you, Legate. In the future, I'll let you know when your opinion is needed. Sir? Hmm. Nice. So, we could look at these places and, uh... Something to report? Perhaps they'll get put on my map. They keep saying map updated, even though I think a lot of these are already on our map. The General and I have our disagreements, but he's the best hope for both the Empire and Skyrim. Okay. Many of my countrymen joined the Rebels. They can't see the big picture. Skyrim needs the Empire as much as it needs us. So I'm gonna click on all these and... Need something? See what happens. Helgen, Fort Newgrad. And then yes? these are considered Stormcloak areas. Iverstead, Fort Amal. Out with it. Riften. Fort Greenwall. Need something? Yes? Okay. Uh, so, way, way, way back early in the game, there was talk about um, coming here. And um, let's see here. Joining the Imperial Legion. Uh, and I guess this is where we do that. Like, if I made that my quest and I turned it on, then it does show it right here. I have no intention of joining the Imperial Legion. Not right this moment, anyway. Um, but I just wanted to verify that I am in the right place for that. Um, I mean, we're here. We may as well go ahead and talk to these people. What's up, Legged Ricky? Need something? Are you lost? No. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Hmm. Um, I believe we've already met. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have. I was that Helgen dude. Right. Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Uh, I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight for the Empire, or I helped Hadvar escape. He said he'd vouch for, vouch for me. I'm not here. I didn't come here to fight for the Empire. That's for damn sure. But Hadvar did help me escape. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me getting my head almost chopped off. Terrible misunderstanding. I'm going to steal your quill. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, now we're supposed to speak with Legate Ricca. Sir. I'm supposed to speak with you? You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything, 
A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Hmm. Well, uh, what kind of test are you talking about here? The kind that evaluates your usefulness during... duress. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. But it's such a good-looking corpse. What's at Fort Haragstad? The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Um, okay. I'm going alone? Yes, this is a test. I don't think you're regular militia material. I want to see what you're capable of. Well, I mean, yeah, I'll go ahead and clear the fort out for you, but mostly because I hate vagabonds, not because I want to join the Legion. Good, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> now go make it happen, soldier. You know, I'll do it when I feel like it. Well, completed, join the Imperial Legion? No, I didn't join the Imperial Legion. What the hell? <laughs> All right, anyway, like I said, just because I clear out Fort Hragstead doesn't mean I'm joining the Legion, right? I mean, I'd want to clear it out anyway, even if they weren't asking me to do it. Uh, Ruby just lying there on the table, all these books all over the place. Oh my gosh, I'm practically salivating. A little bed back here owned by somebody. Somebody cutting hair? Sounds like I hear clippers. What is that? What is that? It's, maybe it's coming from upstairs. Falkreath, we control access to the Reach, White Run, and the Rift. Ulfric will try for it soon. We'll be there to stop him. Okay, you keep telling a random person all your plans, all your strategies. Oh, nice big bed here. You know that no You know what that noise is I'm hearing? It's my f bare feet. <laughs> it's it's my bare feet. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> it sounds to me like clippers. Somebody's clipping hair. Nope, it's my bare feet. That's hilarious. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to steal the apple. I meant to look inside of the wardrobe. Whoops. I stole an apple. Nobody saw it. It didn't happen. Where's this take us? Back out to solitude. All right, let's go back out to solitude. Where the hell is the Jarl of Solitude, man? Where is this guy? <laughs> Bare feet. Thalmor headquarters. I mean... I don't want to go to the Thalmor headquarters. I don't know. Let's go in. We'll probably get in trouble for being in here. Maybe they keep different orders. Ooh, different hours, I mean. Look, he's got one of those tables, too. Open the display case. We could steal these swords if we wanted. Cool stained glass windows there. Bunch of books in here. The Wolf Queen Volume 7? Wow. I didn't realize there were so many Wolf Queen books. Let's see what's down here. Oh yeah, cool place. A couple of beds down here. This big open area up here. Thal this is the Thalmor headquarters. This is it. It's not that big, really. I don't know what I'm expecting to find when I look in these. But I keep looking at them. That he's bored with me looking through people's stuff. Well, there's nobody here. I guess I'll be on my way. He 
to find the Jarl, man. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. <laughs> All right, dude. Castle Dower Emperor's Tower. Well, um... What's this place? This looks important. A couple of cool chairs here. What do we got over here? This is, um... That'll take us to solitude? Where am I now? Temple of the Divines. Uh, I guess we'll go in. Whoa, look at this place. Cool. This is pretty cool. Nicely done. Hey. Ooh. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Thanks, man. Here's the Shrine of Kinnereth. I need to write these things down. I don't remember what Kinnereth does. I mean, I don't we remember. Welcome oh. you to worship the Eight Divines. Oh. Freely and openly. Oh. We could we could worship any of the divines we want here. Oh, cool. What's up, Rorland? Wander no more, for you are among friends here and safe. Thanks, man. Can I live here? Blessings be with you. So we've got Shrine of Stendar. Shrine of Stendar gives us uh, fortify blocking. So this is, this is good information, maybe, um, to know what each shrine does, right? So I'm going to start writing these down. So Stendar is a fortify blocking. And um, we've got uh, RK, which does fortify health. That's a good one, right? Here's Zenithar. I've never heard of Zenithar. What do you need? Zenithar gives us barter. Okay. I mean, I guess that could be useful at some point. This one's empty. What do you need? This must have been Talos, right? That was Talos, I bet. Kinnereth gives us some um, stamina. That's a good one. I like that one. I like having stamina so I could carry more crap. What do you need? Debella, which we've already the steps of the divines. come across, but I didn't write it down. Debella is uh, persuasion. Here we've got Akatosh. At least I've heard this name before. <coughs> Akatosh gives us Magicka. That's a good one for us, too. And it's regenerate magicka, not fortify. Here we've got Remind us of our place when we forget. Julianos. Oh, I haven't heard of this one. Julianos gives us Fortify Magicka. So we have a regenerate magicka and a fortify magicka. Now I'm wondering if I didn't pay attention to other ones before. I thought they were all fortify. Mara is fortify restoration. Interesting. Fortify restoration. Okay, that's all of them. Hm. Well, that's pretty interesting. Knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Ooh. What's going on down here? I 
guess this is where he lives. It's an empty wardrobe. Huh? Lydia, get the hint, Lydia. Although she's just crossing her arms. Come on, Lydia. Just let me through. I've got your back. You oh. follow. Okay. There you go. Come in here a little bit, will you? I never noticed that thing glowing on her hip before. Is that Dawnbreaker, I guess? Huh. I didn't notice that. It's kinda cool. Ooh, this door requires a key. Do I have the key? I don't. You never know, man. I could have picked up the key at some point. Who knows? Did I miss a uh, walkway over here? I did not. Now, I saw some stairs on the side here. Where does this take us? That'll take us back out to solitude. I don't think I want to be up there. And then... There's stairs over here, too. More books just lying there. Oh. Solana Petrea. Oh. Friar. His bed is owned. Alright, I'm gonna stop looking in those. Um... <laughs> I mean, do I want to wake these people up? Sure, why not? Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? What do the shrines do? Those who worship at the shrines will sometimes receive boons from the gods themselves. The nature of the favors varies per deity. Please, feel free to worship at any or all of the shrines. Yeah, one of them's missing, but one of them's empty. Hmm? Oh, yes. That once held the shrine to Talos. But the worship of Talos was banned by the White Gold Concordat some time ago. Hmm. What's the White Gold Concordat? It's the peace treaty that ended the war with the elves of the Almeri Dominion. The Dominion recognized the heresy of proclaiming Talos a god. Talos was a great man and a great emperor, but that does not make him a god. No matter how much the Stormcloaks may wish it were so. Hmm, interesting. The strong and honorable always carry the blessing of the eight. What's your story? Blessings to you. The divines are listening. Yeah? Okay, she doesn't have anything to talk about, really. Feel free to take a seat or pray at the shrines. We appreciate worship in all its forms. Cool. May the divines guide and keep you. Thank you. Okay. Alright. So, you know, just some peeps around here. It's pretty Mistress, cool. a word? Certainly a polite. What troubles you? I know you and Father Roland have many duties to attend to in the temple. But sometimes I feel that there are more important matters to attend to. What could be more important than hearing the prayers of the faithful and answering the questions of the dedicated? Mistress, the people of Solitude are destitute. Many are starving and desperate for work. We need to be more active to reach out to them. We took you in, didn't we? We would be glad to extend our welcome to any other who showed your dedication. What more could we do? I know, and I appreciate it dearly. But I can't help but feel we could be doing more. Kinareth has blessed you with tremendous compassion, Silana. You will find a way, I'm sure of it. Well, that was interesting. May you be saved by the divines, huh. as I once was. Okay. Well, I was thinking that maybe Blessings after hearing that... Divines upon you. How may I help? We may have gotten a new quest from her or something, but, uh, no. Nope. That did not happen. Well, back out to solitude we go. Still have no idea where the Jarl is. This says solitude. I mean, where am I now? It's just a different... Weird. Okay. So just a little uh, balcony type thing here. Well, now I've done it. Lydia will never find me. saved me from the streets. And they can save you from your trials as well. Oh, well, you made it. Okay, so... <laughs> um, 
What's this? Nothing. Just the sewers. Great sound effects coming from there. Um... Time is it? 6.46 a.m. So I'm wondering if at a certain time those doors are going to open, let people in. I'm just guessing here. I really don't know. We've already been in there. So... Um, hmm. Advar's house. So we haven't been down this walkway down here yet, I don't think. Haven't been by these people's homes. Oh, I don't remember setting a custom destination. So I'm going to just stand here and wait since I'm here. I'm going to wait two, three hours. Let's just wait three hours. I just want to see if those doors are going to open. That's all. They don't. Okay. So, need a key. So, <laughs> did you see that guy for a split second? He was upside down. Did you see that? I hope you did. Um, if you didn't run it back, it was funny. So, I'm going to walk down this street here. Because I don't think I've walked this way yet. Pine Moon Cave is down to the southwest. But it ain't fit for exploring. There are stories. Vampires, some say. Pine Moon Cave, huh? And yes, I do see that I could level up, but... Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. Well, I would if I could. What is it? Dragons? <laughs> so here is... Vittoria Vici's house. We'd have to be... Uh, we'd, have to, we'd have to unlock it to get into it, and I'm not going to do that. Yep. Who's this guy? Durbin. Hey, play tag? You, you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. Well, what do you need, man? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, um, why don't you just leave your master? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Okay, how can I find him? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Yarrow. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. What? No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Well, okay. And duh, the Jarl is in the Blue Palace. How many times have I heard that mentioned already? Uh, why do you need him back? Oh, you just oh, don't it. understand. <sighs> Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Why do you need him back? Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The Holy Flame flickers and dies. We need his return. Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing. And so very worth any inconveniences. Uh-huh. And who's your master now? He is a great man, but one rarely praised. He rules twin empires that span the length and breadth of our minds. All know him, but few can name him. But he has forbidden me from saying his name. He says it distracts him, and woe to those who draw his ire. But you will know him when you see him. He's the one who made me like this. <laughs> okay, how can I get to him? He stays in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. The doors are locked, and only Falk Firebeard can grant entry. But I hear the maids, Una and Erdi, know how to enter it for cleaning. Surely they could help for such an important matter. Uh-huh. Okay, thanks, dude. Bye. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. 
so now we have a new quest called the mind of madness Durvin in wants me to talk to his master about returning from vacation to do so i need to gain entrance to the pelagius wing of the blue palace if i turn this quest on um it will tell me whoa apparently the blue palace is way down here so we have a long way to go before we get to the blue palace what's this place this is advar's house Let's go say hi to Advar, whoever this is. Oh, nice house. I like it already. Is it for sale? Yes. Hi, Greta. Are you here to talk about my brother? Do you think his execution was justified? Oh, gosh. Who who was your brother? I already know this. Brogvir. He opened a gate and they executed him for it. He opened a gate and the wrong man rode out of it. If that man hadn't been Ulfric Stormcloak... If Ulfric hadn't killed High King Torig, but it was Ulfric, and he did kill the High King in honorable combat. My brother refused to allow the Imperials to take revenge for the deed. So now he's dead. Well, it sounds like your brother uh, did what he thought was right. Then like Rogvir, you have a Nord's heart. Yep. It's hard for many of the people here to understand. I think Aldous understands. I don't think I could have stayed here if anyone else had... I have... I think I need to be done talking for the moment. Oh, okay. See you later. <laughs> I'm done talking for the moment. I need to go sit in this other chair. Well, it says empty right on it. It's a cute little place. Need something? The chest here. So I'm just wondering now if there's like something related to what Rogvir did or whatever his name was. Huh, so there's nobody else in here. I'll be doggone. And apparently these people aren't readers because there's no books in here. That's funny. Yeah. Here's a book. Uncommon Tastes. Okay, so this is this is one of the reasons I came in here because uh, I'm gonna read a read a book now, and I'm gonna read this one right here because I could read this one and it won't be considered stealing. I could read it and leave it right there. Um, I mean, I guess I don't have to collect every book I read and put it on my bookshelf. I guess I don't know. Let's read Uncommon Taste. Uncommon Taste by the Gourmet. Congratulations. By opening this volume, you have taken the first step on a truly epic journey, a voyage through the vast landscape of Breton food and its myriad joys and wonders. You will explore scents, flavors, and textures so exquisite, they will seem impossible, but they are more than possible. Indeed, by following the carefully selected recipes presented in this cookbook, you will prepare extraordinary dishes with such ordinary ease those around you will suspect sorcery. But the only magic is that which exists in your own heart, the passion you possess for creating delicious, amazing food that can be prepared easily and enjoyed endlessly. Start here, and someday, you too can be a gourmet. So here's some sunlight souffle, here's the ingredients. Two and a half ounces of cow's cheese, one ounce of butter, an ounce of flour, nine ounces of milk, a dash of salt, a dash of pepper, a cup full of ground nutmeg. The recipe. Stoke the flames of your oven and achieve a moderate heat. Grate the cheese into thin shavings by running a finely honed elven dagger over the block. It has to be elven. Separate the egg whites from the yolks and beat the whites vigorously until they thicken. Begin preparation of the signature sunshine sauce. Melt the butter and add in the flour while stirring continuously until well blended. Move the mixture to a smaller flame and begin gently stirring in the milk. It is crucial that you do not stop stirring. Continue, continue to do so for 10 minutes until the mixture thickens. Then and only then will the sunshine sauce be considered ready. Add the salt, pepper, and nutmeg and remove from the flame. Add in the grated cheese and then the egg yolks. Stir well until fully blended. Then gently add in the egg whites with a spoon made of carved hickory wood. Gently pour the mix into four stonework souffle dishes filling each nearly, but not quite, to the top. 
put the dishes in your moderately hot oven and shut that door. Keep sealed for 25 minutes or your scrumptious suns will rise only to fall down flat into the oven's abyss. Remove after 25 minutes and serve immediately. Behold the brilliance of the sun and the exquisite flavor of the sunshine souffle. I don't know enough about recipes to know what this is actually making. I mean, that is, it appears to be something you could actually make with real ingredients. What is it? Uh, just a cake? Uh, well, it's a souffle. Mm. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Somebody make that and tell me how it is. Uh, potage le magnifique. Ingredients, four cups of chicken broth, four cups of beef broth, two and a half ounces of butter, one wooden flagon of flour, one cup of diced carrots and a half cup of diced onions. So it's just a bunch of broth, flour, carrots, and onions. So I guess this is, I don't know what potage is. Uh, recipe, stoke the flames of your open pit fire and achieve a low heat. Combine all ingredients into a large soup pot. Stir vigorously. Once hot, pour into earthen soup bowls immediately. Behold the gourmet's signature dish, the potage la magnifique. But wait, I know what you're wondering. That's it? Is that all there is to it? What's the secret of the gourmet? Do you really expect me to give away the secret to my most popular dish? Well, guess what? I will. For you, or for that secret, my friends, is you. That's right, the potage la magnifique is delicious and extraordinary. Using just the simple ingredients listed, you will create a potage, and I have no idea if I'm saying that right or not, that is both hearty and delicious. But in order to make the potage la magnifique truly magnificent, it takes the imagination of a truly inspired chef. Do you have that gift? I have served bowls of potage la magnifique that have caused grown men to weep with joy. Can you guess what I added? Can you create magic? Okay, all right. Well, somebody cook those recipes up and let me know how they go. Hi, Greta. I'm just reading the book, that's all. It's okay. I didn't take it or anything. I just read it. It's, it's all good. something? No, no, I'm good. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode, and I sure hope you join me again in the next uh -huh. one.